okay there's the components that make the up the dummy load resistors brass strip enclosure I uh, made like a couple of bus bars out of a brass strip uh, insulated off the bottom with a hardwood block there's the mounting of the res uh, resistors that's the resistors uh, soldered uh, parallel string soldered the top and that's on the bottom uh, that's uh, the completed installation the blocks resistors and the uh, connector and the uh, total ohms was uh, 50 Okay, I am tuning a transceiver, and you have to have a load in place of when you're tuning without an antenna. The requirements are to 50 ohm load that has to handle at least 10 watts. This particular transceiver uh, transmits up to uh, 10 watts. However, on continuous wave, it could go higher so I made it up to uh, could handle 20 watts this um, particular design came from the internet this is the website 621 electronics um, they their uh, original design was <coughs> excuse me a uh, 10 transistors 500 ohm 2 watts each um, never use wire wound resistors uh, so for this rig, I chose 20, 1,000 ohm, 1 watt, and that gave me the values I needed. Here is the schematic. Uh, a string of re resistors in parallel. Your connector, center, outer, and all grounded. Uh, here is the uh, layout. Parallel a string of uh, parallel resistors, the connector, and the enclosure. Uh, it's very, very simple. No big deal. And of course, resistance in parallel, 1 over R total equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, on and on for the total number in your uh, required. Um, R1 is 1,000 ohms, 1 divided by 1,000 is 0 .001. Uh, there's 20, multiply that by 20, comes out to 0 .02. And 1 divided by 0 .02 equals 50. 50 ohms total. The watts, they're 1 watt each. Uh, you add that 20 times, and that gives you the 20 watts of uh, power. Okay, so here's the completed uh, dummy load. Um, aluminum enclosure, nice gauge, and here is the parallel string of resistors. They're mounted on brass uh, strips like a bus bars, uh, insulated off the aluminum by a hardwood block. Um, they're drilled, uh, a mounted through hole wrapped around and secured mechanically before I soldered uh, both on the top I had this out and on the bottom there's your connector in the back and there's a connector and that's about it I put some feet on the bottom to keep it you know off the deck to allow a little cooling uh, which brings me to the holes all over the place for cooling which I might not have I sh uh, might not have, uh, should not have done, because uh, RF can radiate out all over the place from this. I guess that's why they have them sealed in cans and cooled with oil, but um, uh, the success of this uh, has yet to be determined uh, in, in, in use. 
I left the cover intact, and thank goodness for that. So, that is, uh, and you can cons uh, configure this to your particular um, requirements, and uh, it's a nice project, um, and uh, so that's about it. So, thanks for watching.